have a universal appeal. Something which doesn't condemn other religions saying that this religion is bad, this ours is good. Actually, I found what I was looking for. For all these years, the thing which has been bugging me, I found the answer here. Before, I used to feel a lot of self-pity about being inside jail, you know, thinking, why should this have happened to me, all this sort of thing. Having the pastor, of course, it's like, I'm grateful that it was there, you know, I'm almost grateful for coming to jail to actually go there and, you know, have the opportunity to do it. You know, I often think to myself, when I get home, you know, I've got my own bedroom, I can meditate there, I can make it a, a regular part of my life. But, you know, old habits die hard and it's very easy just to fall back into the old pattern of lifestyle. So. Before I leave here, like, I don't know when that could be, you know, there could be a chance next month or the middle or the end of next year, but actually what I'd really like to do is go to a course, complete the course, and then, like, the very next day to be able to walk out of jail. I'd go out in a very good frame of mind, not a bad frame of mind which the place can create. You know, this coming to tell you how it's a lesson in life I'll never forget, you know, it's, in a way, it's a great experience, but it's, it's just gone on for too long now. You know, I'd really like it to finish and so I can go home. <laughs> Sure has come a long way. Earlier prisons were not being opened for this course. Some were, some were not. But now the government of India sent out a circular to all the prisons in India to encourage Vipassana courses. Because the prisons were capable of receiving this. Staff was accepting this. The community outside was expecting this to happen. You know, there was a positivity of a belief that this can happen in the prison now. People who were being released from the prison were not coming back anymore. Outside, people had started to see the change in their thinking and behavior. So there's been no looking back. which is effective here will be definitely effective anywhere in the world. Prisons in the West and the prisons in the East, men in the West, men in the East, no difference, difference of degree. But totality, we are the same, same people all over the world. The traditions are different, culture is different, but man is not different. His attitude is not different. Governments are not different. It looks that government in India may be harsh and prison conditions are very bad. It's a comparative picture. Even if you build a, all good things in the jail and all facilities, it doesn't mean that it's a good prison. What is the attitude of the people? That is very important. When a Vipassana course ends in Baroda jail, a special event takes place. In the presence of social workers and guests supporting the Vipassana program, the superintendent, a Vipassana student himself, greets the inmates coming out of the meditation hall. physical contact between people from such different backgrounds is unthinkable. But on this day, barriers are broken.
was a one question one time I asked Kranvedi. Uh, ask her about. Uh, I say, Madam, uh, how many people in this world you think that they are doing? They are just here in this world. They believe they are here in this world just to do good. What's the percentage? She looked at me and there was a, maybe 20, 30 people sitting there. She said, you are the percentage. It's you, people. But it's you who can make it, uh, this world, a better place. 